Hi, Gordon here with another edition of the Unscripted series. This week, I'm going to start a mini-series on misconceptions. And the first one is going to be about cases. Uh, I'm asked from time to time, in fact, I just got an email the other day from a guy that said, hey, I'm about to get my instrument. Can you give me some idea on where I should get a case? And the question just floored me for a couple reasons. One is that um, I can't imagine shipping a ukulele and having it not be in a case. And the other thing is that in every email we send out, we say in there, and even on when you order the instrument, it says, comes with a custom hard case. Uh, so anyway, here is our, uh, our hard case, and we custom designed it. The important thing about it is the instrument fits in there like a hand in a glove. Uh, another important thing, I think, is this arch top, and you can see it here. This is called an arch top case, and the reason you have that is so that there's nothing that touches the top of the instrument around the bridge. I've seen some cases that are designed almost the opposite, where there is a, a ridge of material that goes right down the middle and holds the instrument in on the strings, the bridge, and the top. And that's just terrible. Uh, that's the, the, the most sensitive part of the instrument. In fact, when we started out, we sourced a case like that because we couldn't, we didn't have enough volume to uh, justify a custom hard case. And we probably had, oh, I don't know, two or three or four out of a hundred that were damaged in shipping. With this case, I think since we did it, which is probably 1,500 instruments ago, I think we've had two damaged in shipping. So it's an excellent case. And of course, it's provided with our instrument. I should say, with everything but the bean sprout banjo, uh, we had trouble getting a case for that, but it's also so different. It's so sturdy that uh, the gig bag works wonderfully for it. So that's it, misconception number one.